I'm going to talk today about one of my favorite features in Google Analytics, which is uh, custom reporting. So I'm just going to use my blog here, which has no traffic because I just uh, got it up and going again last week. But the first thing you're going to do is just click on this custom reporting tab up at the top and then click the new custom report button to get started. All right, once you're in this create custom report screen, first thing you're going to want to do is give your report an intuitive name. So I'm going to call mine organic landing pages. Okay, I don't do anything with the report tab. You can create a multiple report tabs and um, this is how those would look. Uh, the site usage, goal set one, two, uh, and e-commerce. I tend to like to have all of my metrics together. Plus another drawback to those tabs is if you apply a filter, uh, which I do quite a bit, uh, it will apply that filter to all of your tabs. So your mileage may vary. Uh, I don't name my metric groups. You can. You can get as ridiculous as you want. But we're just going to jump right in. First, a quick explanation here. These here in the standard report, so this is what a standard report looks like. This is uh, an organic traffic report for a client. And over here, basically anything that can be measured with a number is a metric. So all of these are metrics. Uh, visits, pages per visit, average visit duration, percent new visits, and bounce rate. And then over here you have the dimensions. So the dimensions are basically how your report is organized. So these are the individual line items and you can determine with the custom reports exactly how you want those to drill down. So the standard reports are pretty rigid but the custom reports you can mix and match your drill downs as uniquely as you want which is really helpful especially in any kind of forensic analysis. So Let's just go ahead and add a few metrics. There are a couple different ways you can navigate this. You can browse, and that can be useful when you're kind of a neophyte to Google Analytics. Once you kind of get your web feet and get more comfortable, uh, what you're going to use a lot more frequently are these filters. So I will typically include visits, uh, bounce rate, uh, if I'm tracking uh, conversions, if I'm tracking uh, like goal completions, I may track the individual goals. So I might look for uh, goal to completions or goal to conversion rate, or uh, sometimes I'll just grab the overall goal completions. If it's an e commerce site, I absolutely every single time include revenue. Obviously, my blog is not an e commerce site. Uh, and I'm not even tracking goal conversions at this point, but um, I'll just leave it in there to show you one other thing. You can grab these and move them around. So I'm going to move visits back where it was, and since I'm not tracking goal completions at this point, I'm just going to X out of that. Okay, so then your dimensions, I'm just going to choose landing page, and then I want to be able to click on the landing page and find out the keywords that are driving traffic to each of my landing pages. Uh, so I'll just pull keyword up in here. Now one caveat about keywords, moving keyword up here in my opinion is a fool's errand because of not provided. So the only legitimate analysis of uh, keyword data in my opinion is in the context of landing page. Now there is one other little trick in dimensions that most people don't know about, uh, but let's say that I want to drill down from landing page to keywords, but then I want to be able to isolate particular keywords. You can do that by just choosing keyword again, and then that's going to give you the ability to click on a keyword and see that keyword. Uh, and that's actually what is built into, I believe, all of the standard reports. We're not going to do that at this point. Actually, I'll leave it in there um, just to uh, show you what it looks like. Okay, now because I do SEO, I almost always apply 
an organic filter. So the way you do that is you just set the medium to include organic. But you have a lot of options with these filters. For example, a couple weeks ago, China pulled some antic of blocking Google Analytics. And so I had to analyze the impact of the lack of traffic from China on our clients. And so I actually looked at a, a country filter and set that to China. And I'm bringing this up not only to show you the, some of the other filters that you can apply, but also to make a point that there's a little bug with these filters uh, that I just recently discovered. And that is I had this set to exact and I had it set to China. This also happened to me with iOS. And I knew I had the operating system set to iOS. I knew that that was correct. I, I double checked it in my dimensions. Everything looked copacetic. These aren't case sensitive. And yet it wasn't pulling up anything. Like my uh, report was just flatline. So if that happens to you, just choose regex. I didn't even have to include any regex just by switching this to regex. It worked so but I'm just gonna X out of that okay and then uh, one other cool feature is when you create a custom report let's say you're doing an analysis for let's say the the block in China or um, the impact of uh, Safari searches in iOS devices switching to secure search and now showing up as direct traffic instead of organic um, and let's say it's a report like that where you're doing panda research or penguin research and you just want to be able to apply it to a bunch of profiles at one time. I can't click on this because I have client data in there. But if you click on this, it will list all of your profiles. And it also has a filter so you can uh, put in a particular client's like the first few letters of a client's uh, profile identifier and just choose those profiles. Or you can apply it to all of them or just choose you know, one or two other profiles. And that's really convenient because when you do that, then this, uh, this custom report will show up in all of those uh, clients or profiles custom reports, which is really nice. So without further ado, we're gonna click Save. And this is what our custom report looks like. We're just looking at uh, visits and bounce rate. And as I said, if I click on one of these landing pages, it's going to show me the keywords that are driving traffic to that particular landing page. And if I want to just isolate, like let's say I would just want to isolate sharing and I don't want to see anything else, um, then I can just click on that and it will just pull up that one keyword. It's not that useful in this context, but it can be very useful in other contexts. I'll show you one other example that I alluded to, and this was just a report to look at traffic from iOS devices. And this is because, like I said, the switch to secure search, you can look that up on the search engine land site and find out the, the backstory. Actually, I just wrote a blog post about it, so you can look up iOS on my blog here. But what I did for this, I just pulled up visits, goal completions, and revenue. And then in this case, the only dimension drill down I needed was browser. But I included two filters because I, I really wanted to isolate Safari, the Safari browser on iOS devices. So I set the dimension drill down to browser, but then I set the filters to include operating system, uh, set to iOS, and like I said, this was another one of those examples where exact should have worked, but it didn't. But, but I know that that's iOS. And browser to Safari, in this case, I really did need to use regex because I didn't want the app. I only wanted Safari, so that dollar sign at the end says it has to end uh, with that I. And then you just choose the profiles. And here's what it looks like. So you can see over time, this is its uh, third week in September is when uh, iOS 6 was released and that's when searches uh, shifted to secure search. And you can see here we have the direct traffic has been uh, trending upward and organic traffic has been trending downward. So 
thank you very much, Google, for that. Okay, so that just gives you an overview of the power of custom reports.